To earn an A in classes, it is important to know how to approach the learning. For this, we have the story for learning in our Mesa culture. This is the basic formula for approaching the learning. To this formula, you can add study groups, tutors, faculty office hours, and other learning resources. But you cannot eliminate any step in the formula. All Mesa creators know this basic formula. Class. Class is a step in the formula. All students know this step, but not all students know what steps to take before and after class. It is critical to come prepared to class. Not coming to class prepared is the first big mistake that most students make. This is not a problem for Mesa creators. In our Mesa culture, all Mesa creators are trained in bullet point reading, BPR. BPR is adapted from the guaranteed 4.0 learning system. BPR is the best technique for preparing for class because it helps students to learn from long-term memory. BPR uses an outlining technique. In BPR, you outline one section at a time using bullets, both main bullets and sub-bullets, to capture main ideas and concepts. But the key to doing BPR is the repetitious review. Each time that you outline a new section, stop and review the previous section outlines plus the new outline. Step number two is a key for moving information to long-term memory. BPR is very easy to do, and it does not take very long. The time to do BPR depends on each student and each class, but 30 minutes is a good average for doing BPR. Also, the best time to do BPR is on the weekend. This way you will have your BPR done for all classes, and you can focus on everything else during the week, without having to worry about preparing for classes. Make this your habit from start to end of the semester. Here is an exciting way to approach BPR. It is called CSI BPR. Like in the show Crime Scene Investigation, a crime has been committed, and it is up to you to solve it. As an investigator, you cannot begin solving the crime at ground level, where there is too much information to confuse you. Instead, you approach the crime by looking at the big picture from 30,000 feet. Once you have a big picture view of the crime, you can move into 10,000 feet to profile each suspect using BPR. Finally, with clear profiles for each suspect, you are prepared to solve the crime in class at ground level. This is the CSI method for doing BPR. Let's begin by reviewing the steps for doing CSI BPR from 30,000 feet. Remember that from 30,000 feet, you can only see the big stuff. That is, you can only see the chapter title, number of sections, and titles of sections. You can find this information in the table of contents or the start of each chapter. Ask yourself, what crime has been committed? Can you identify it? The crime is the title of the chapter that you will BPR. Next, how many suspects are involved with the crime? Are there few or many suspects? The suspects are the sections in the chapter. From 30,000 feet, it will be very important to become familiar with the names of the suspects. Read the name of the first suspect and repeat the name. Read the name of the second suspect and repeat the names of the first and then the second suspect. Continue this process of reading and repeating names for each new suspect to help you become familiar with the big picture and to move the names of the suspects to long-term memory. Congratulations, CSI investigator. You're off to a great start. Now that you know the crime and the suspects, you are ready to move in closer to profile each suspect. From 10,000 feet, you can see more clues. But don't worry about having to understand everything. Remember that as an investigator, you are preparing yourself to solve the crime at ground level in the classroom. Begin by profiling the first suspect. What is important to know about the suspect? Look for clues. Do you recognize any big picture clues? What is the crime about? 
Can you identify the concept? Are there any example problems to show you the SAM, that is, the steps for solving problems? Can you see any variation in the problems? And can you see how the variation affects the SAM? Don't understand some clues? No problem. Write down any questions to ask in class. If there is a section summary, use a summary to help you create your outline. The summary will include important facts to know about your suspect. Here's a tip. Insert a BPR bookmarker at the start of the section and a big picture bookmarker at the summary to help you go back and forth. Remember that your outline must have enough information for you to recognize each suspect. For example, see Einstein. It is not a full color, full detail picture of Einstein but the outline has enough information for you to recognize Einstein. When you finish profiling the first suspect, review the profile. Then profile the second suspect and review the profiles for the first and second suspect. Continue this process of profiling and repetitious review for each new suspect to move the information to long-term memory. Congratulations, CSI investigator. You have successfully profiled the suspects. You are prepared to work at ground level in class to solve the crime. Remember, it does not take too much time to profile each suspect. The time depends on each student in each class, but you should take enough time for you to be familiar with each suspect. Finally, with clear profiles for each suspect, you are prepared to solve the crime in class at ground level. Listen carefully to your professor and take accurate notes. Your professor will review the big picture and provide more details about the crime. They will explain the concepts, guide you through examples and steps, that is SAM, identify key variations, answer questions, and gener generally connect the dots to help you solve the crime. Congratulations CSI investigator. Yet another crime has been solved. Learn the CSI method for doing BPR and use it to make learning fun and exciting. A Mesa creator is having fun using the CSI BPR method. Here's an example of her CSI BPR notes for Chapter 4 in Pre-Calculus. The notes include the crime and a clear list of suspects, followed by profiles for each suspect. The ID section in the suspect profile refers to important details. These details are quickly found in the section summary in the pre-calculus book. The OD section in the suspect profile refers to other details. If necessary, you can find these details in the corresponding section of the book. Remember, your profiles must include enough information for you to recognize each suspect. If you don't understand something when doing BPR, just write a list of questions to ask in class. There is no pressure when doing BPR. You are simply preparing yourself for class. All MESA creators are expected to arrive early for class. Arriving early gives you one more chance to review your BPR notes and refresh your memory before lecture. Also, seating is not optional. All MESA creators know to sit in the learning T, that is, sit only in the front and down the middle. The RLN step refers to review lecture notes. MESA creators are trained to review their lecture notes immediately after class. This is an opportunity to compare the lecture notes to BPR notes and check to see that all questions were answered. The forgetting curve shows why it is important to review lecture notes immediately after class. The curve maps retention over time. Students have the best recall immediately after lecture and they recall less than 50% of the lecture only one hour later. If possible, MESA creators are strongly encouraged to avoid scheduling classes back to back. This will allow time between classes to review lecture notes for one class and arrive early for the next class. The homework step is critical. This is an opportunity to apply the learning. However, most students do not know how to approach the homework. In our MESA culture, MESA creators are trained to use a big picture approach for problem solving. 
The big picture approach has two parts. Part one, see the big picture, and part two, solve the problem. You cannot truly understand and solve problems unless you first see the big picture. There are three questions to ask in order to see the big picture. The first question is, what is a concept? A concept is a main idea. When you have a problem, you need to be familiar with the concept that is associated with the problem. The second question is, what is a SAM? SAM comes from the words setup, algorithm, and method, and it refers to the steps to follow for solving problems. Every concept has a specific SAM, that is, steps you must follow. Assuming you identify the concept and SAM, the third question is, what is a variation and how does a variation affect the SAM? When you have a group of problems, review all of the problems in the group. They share the same concept, but are the problems different or the same? If they're different, how do they differ? This difference is a variation. Does a variation affect the SAM? How do you need to modify the SAM for different problems? Understanding how the variation affects the SAM is critical. This is a key for getting an A on your next test. Finally, now that you can see the big picture, you are ready to solve the problem. To solve the problem, you simply come up with a plan, use your plan to solve the problem, then think about your answer. Does the answer make sense? This is the basic formula for approaching the learning. This is the Mesa story for learning. However, notice the subtitle. The key is to know how the story ends. The story ends with Mesa creators seeing the big picture. Therefore, you know what to look for in all steps of the story. When you BPR, you are reviewing new material to prepare for class. But it is important to keep the three big picture questions in your mind while doing BPR. Be aware of anything that looks like a concept, SAM, or variation. Class is your best opportunity to see the big picture. Everything in class has a purpose, and the purpose is to answer the three big picture questions. Can you identify the concept in the new material covered in lecture? When your professor reviews an example problem, can you recognize the SAM? When your professor reviews multiple example problems, can you recognize any variations in the problems and recognize how the variations affect the SAM? If you're not clear on the concept, SAM, or variation, Class is a perfect opportunity for asking questions. When you review lecture notes immediately after class, look to identify the concept, SAM, and variation in your notes. Finally, when you get to the homework, you will begin by seeing the big picture and answering the three big picture questions. However, because you know how the story ends and you focus on the big picture through all steps in the story, it will be very easy to answer the three questions and to solve the problems. Mesa creators follow this story to succeed in classes. The Mesa story for learning is one of many learning strategies available to Mesa creators. These strategies are identified on the Mesa website. From the Mesa homepage, click on Foundation for Learning. Then, click on Learning Strategies. Here you will find a large toolbox of learning strategies. Mesa creators must be familiar with the first set of strategies. These are very important for your foundation for learning. The second set contains other strategies that may be helpful to you. These strategies come from the City College of San Francisco's Learning Assistance Center. It is especially important to be familiar with the available lecture videos and online resources. There are many sources for lecture videos and tutorials to help you understand the material. Including MIT Open Courseware, Khan Academy, Just Math Tutorials, Tutorials and Notes from Paul Dawkins, Calculus Success Program by City Professor Guillermo Alvarez, iTunes University, and YouTube.
Guru is also a very powerful resource. It is a search engine for learning academic topics. Simply enter a topic and select the type of information that matches your learning needs. You can choose to see videos for your topic. You can choose to see websites for your topic, or you can choose to see other sources like interactives, handouts, and exams. Quizlet is another helpful source for learning. Here is how it works. You can study anything by searching the Quizlet library or creating your own materials. You can learn your way by using any of six study modes, including flashcards, a learning tracker, a time scatter for word matching, speller, test, or space race for identifying words. or you can study with friends. Here are the collections in the Quizlet library. For math and science, Quizlet offers learning resources for chemistry, engineering, life sciences, mathematics, Earth Sciences, Health Sciences, and Physics. Other online resources include Wolfram Alpha for calculations and graphs in math, engineering, and science, math freeware like Maxima and Scilab, and software for downloading lecture videos. Become familiar with the learning strategies in your MESA toolbox and follow MESA Law Number 3, Work Smarter, Not Harder, to improve your learning and succeed in classes. One example for working smarter is to view tutorial videos before you BPR. This will give you an introduction to the new material and it will improve your focus for BPR and class. MESA creators accept responsibility, take action, and seek solutions. Take advantage of the information in this Path to Earning an A video and use it to create your own success. Good luck.